Bend the knee. Grab my goal is everybody. This is Don Willie back again with another video. And this one is going to be brand the time travel with part three. And this time the tinfoil is over 9,000. So in the previous two videos in this series, I discussed Rand's time traveling abilities and the possibility that he created cold hands. Now for this one, I'm going to take it just a little bit further and suggest some things that fans either might not have heard or would be considered uh, kind of jumping the tinfoil shark. So in the Dance with Dragons and Brand's last chapter, we see him trying to communicate with Ned and possibly succeeding. Blood Raven tells him that no, that's not possible at all. He can't affect the past. And in the show Game of Thrones, we also see him communicate with Ned. And we got confirmation that he is able to do this before Blood Raven actually pulls him out of the Weirwood Trees, telling him that if he stays there for too long, bad things are going to happen. Where the tinfoil goes over 9,000 with this one is with what comes next. We have to look at the character Cold Hands. Why was Cold Hands created? How was Cold Hands created? I think the theory that I have centrals around the creation of Cold Hands and how this all happened. It is my contention that Bran has attempted to go to the cave before and in doing so he was killed under Heart Tree by the White Walkers, merged with the Heart Tree and created Cold Hands to be his protector to get him there a second time. Now, some of you may or may not have heard the theory that the entirety of the Song of Ice and Fire is written from Bran's perspective as an omniscient character. And I think that if this is true, this would lend credence to my theory about him having died, merged with the Weirwood Trees, and then being able to go back in time to influence the past and change things. So you might be thinking to yourself like, okay, well, how does this even make any kind of sense? We saw that Cold Hands exhibits the characteristics of a reanimated white, but he does not have starry blue eyes and he seems to have his own sentience and consciousness. But when he's asked by Bran who he is, he, you know, responds, I'm your monster, Bran Stark. And for me, that signifies that Bran was the one that actually created him. And why would he create him? In order to protect him, to make sure that he actually gets to the wall. We know that Bran got the visions from the Three-Eyed Raven telling him, hey, yeah, you need to come north. You need to get to me so I can teach you what you need to learn. But if Bran had died in a previous attempt trying to do this, and he merged with the trees, and he would want to save himself to make sure that he actually does get to the way where trees alive. And so that's how we get cold hands, in my estimation. Now, I know you might be wondering, well, where is your evidence for this? I mean, well, well, the thing about it is, if this happens to be true with Bran being an omniscient character, we're not going to get that until the end of the series. So there is absolutely no way that I can 100% prove this part. Now, hey, I am hypothesizing, theorizing, postulating, whatever you would like to call it. And this is what I happen to have come up with. So, you know what? Let me know your thoughts on this one. Do you think it's possible that Bran could have been killed, merged with the Weirwood Trees, and is now affecting the past or has affected the past and is trying to make sure that he succeeds in whatever mission it was that he had? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, share, Tell your friends, come back for more. That has been my time, and this is Don Willie saying, Valadiris. Yeah.